Hello everyone, very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica and on this channel it's all about makeup and having a good time. So if you enjoy that, don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below and also on the notification bell. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. But let's get started guys. Today I just need to get ready, so I thought why not do it in front of you guys. And I have some stuff here that I actually have tried before, but I haven't showed you. So I thought I was going to do a look with this one. This is the Poppy Cosmetics Neon Drip. This is very beautiful. This is a neon palette, as you can see, very colorful. I got this in a Tri Beauty box. I also got in this Tri Beauty box this... Uh, the Balm Down Boy. This is a blush. I have been enjoying this so much, so I want to use it today. And we also got this lip gloss that I've used so much. It's super pretty, but I don't know. I have a gloss here as well. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I don't know if I'm going to use this as well, but this is so good, you guys. I didn't get this in the Tri Beauty box. I just bought it. <laughs> but one thing I actually haven't tried yet so it's going to be a first impression it's the Anastasia eye primer uh, I'm going to try that today because uh, I bought a kit I got this one a liner and a mascara and a palette <laughs> but I'm going to try this out with this palette I think we can start with the eyes so I'm going to zoom you guys in so let's start I'm going to take this primer as I said it just says eye primer so I don't know um this is a mini one, I suppose, because, oh my god, there we have it. Okay, this was a lot, actually. Ooh, it's very light. Maybe this is good because we are going to do this uh, neon shade today, but oh my god, can you see? It's crazy. Oh my god, I took too much as well. Did I take the whole thing in this tube? <laughs> it feels like it. Oh my I have already done my brows, as you can see, I'm just tapping it with my fingers and try to blend this a little bit here. Okay, here we have the base. <laughs> oh my god, I really need to have a shade that is my skin color later on to like take this white uh, off. But let's start guys, what are we going to do? Maybe I'm just going to start with this shade in the crease and then we can go deeper. So Kiki, try it out. Well, I have tried this palette. I have actually had it for work and it works really, really nice. So let's see with this primer then. I mean, it's very, very white, this primer. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wing it out as I always do a little bit anyway. I really like that. Let's see here. Am I going... I think I'm going in with this one now. This is the Culture. And I'm going to deepen up a little bit here. This is beautiful. This is really like neon. This corally orange shade, as you can see. There is not like a really deep shade. You have the purple, so I'm going to use that. Just going to blend this here. Maybe I'm gonna cut the crease as well. Just do a half cut crease or something. I think these are very easy to work with and you can actually layer them as well. And that's really nice because it's really hard with these kind of neon shades. I don't know, it doesn't feel like they are like... They are neon but not the weird neon formula you can get <laughs> that blends away this one you can layer and blend taking more of that yellow just to intensify that this is going to turn out as a like a uh, sunset look i believe <laughs> i think i'm going in with this neon pink looks pretty i don't know if i've used this this pink I think I used the other one. That is beautiful. Maybe I'm just gonna cut the crease with the NYX glitter primer. Maybe that's what I want to do. 
I actually think I'm gonna do that. I am going to go in with this purple now, this freaky. And I'm gonna focus it here. As you can see, it's not super dark. Maybe I want to go in with a darker purple. I just want to show you how it looks. So here is the purple. You can see it's not super dark, but it is very pretty. I'm going in with the Lilac You Love from Colourpop. I'm gonna dip into this one because I know this is a bit darker. Look at that. It's really, really, because it's not a pastel, so it's easier. <laughs> just to deepen this up a little bit here because I want this kind of purple and I love this purple shade in this Lilac You A Lot palette so I really wanted to take this one. I think I'm going in more with this one now, this orange because I want it to be more intense here and then the yellow again this may look a little bit crazy, but <laughs> let's go in with the NYX Glitter Primer. And we're gonna cut the lid and we're gonna put something on the lid. Let's see what we're going to put on the lid. Are we going... Oh, this one is so beautiful. I think I'm going to take this one in the inner part and this one in the outer part of uh, my lid. I'm gonna take one eye at a time. I am going in with this one now. And then this slippery, this pink one. Just over here. That is very pretty. And I'm going to do it on this eye as well. These shimmers, you get pigment and they are super beautiful. They are like small glitter specks in them, as you can see, but they are a little bit hard pressed in the pan. So they are a little bit like stiff here when you go to pick them up, just so you know, they are, yeah, as I said, a little bit tricky. I really need to swirl my brush a little bit when I go in with this shadows, uh, the shimmers, I mean. I'm just gonna do a liner and something about waterline mascara. I'm gonna take this one from Essence. I used this in my Essence and Catrice video. I will try to leave it. I really like this. This gives a lot of volume. And I'm also gonna put on some, put on some lashes and I'm gonna do that off camera and then we can do the face. So, and now I have put on some lashes. I cleaned up a little bit here and I put something in my waterline. I put this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Piggy Bank. It's a <laughs> purple one. And also the lashes are from Exo Beauty and it's in the shade The Cheek. So, or Cheek. Uh, yeah, now let's do the face, guys. So, I bought this kit. I've already used it, but I wanted to show you what it comes in like in this bag. So this is from Essence. This is the Glow Like a Pro kit. And this is, they have different shades. This is number one, Gold Trigger. And yeah, basically this is a mattifying primer spray. And I don't know why it's mattifying. It's very, very weird. Let's take this out. Uh, so this is a glow like a pro mattifying cranberry primer so it's a spray and then we have a setting spray and this is the glow like a pro luminizing fixing spray i have some thoughts about this one <laughs> and then we have a loose uh, highlighter and this is actually really nice this is the glow like a pro loose highlighter and this is in the shade well i don't know if it has a shade but it's in this uh, gold trigger uh, kit and it's a little bit gold. This is really nice. So I'm gonna use it today But let's just use all these products shall we? Uh, let's just take this one glow like a pro mattifying cranberry primer and, and this primer prepares the skin for super makeup <laughs> and provides a pleasant caring fresh feeling Yeah, sprayed evenly 
from distance. So let's just do that. I'm gonna do like this because I mean I have my my eyes done. I don't know how to do this. Maybe I can take these like It's really hard when you've done your eyes to spray something in your face but it feels very like refreshing this um, primer spray so let's just keep it like that I'm gonna use my favorite foundation this is the Catrice true skin I have mine in neutral sand number 30 and then I actually have a new brush here I've used it once but I've cleaned it this is from Flair you know I love the Swedish brand Flair when it comes to brushes I have a lot of brushes from them but this is a foundation and concealer brush this is the 108 foundation and concealer brush I really like the idea actually to have a concealer brush on the other end uh, first I was not that like impressed that they do like this because I thought why do you want this but actually I think it's very nice because you do your foundation and then you take this one for the concealer so a perfect product actually in my opinion right now uh, I really like it. So let's just apply this with this brush and then we can use the concealer side later on when we are... This is so soft as well, these brushes. These are so good. I feel like it applies very evenly. Uh, but I feel though it's not that it takes away a little bit of coverage the other brush I have from them the buffing foundation brush or something I think it's called that I have two of those I think that one um, it gives more coverage when you use that one because this one is a little bit softer but I really like this one as well and then you actually can take this side now just to go around here get a little bit closer I feel like the other brush is too big <laughs> what I like about this foundation it it looks like skin and it's not full coverage I mean you can build it up but it, it just looks so natural you don't have to apply it for a long time you just slap it on and it looks good and I oh, I love this foundation <laughs> This is my holy grail. Um, I had it in my best uh, of makeup products 2020. Definitely uh, the one that I love. Uh, maybe we should take concealer now. This is also one of my favorite ones. So this is the She Glam concealer. This is the 12 hour, <laughs> 12 hour full coverage concealer. I have mine in Cotton Candy. I've used this. I've only used this since I got it and it was last year and the end of last year and I just think it's amazing so let's take this brush again and just yeah, just conceal under the eyes I really like when it goes really fast in the morning so I mean a sponge is very nice as well that actually goes really really fast when you apply it but I really like the double-ended brush here because, yeah, you don't have to grab another one. You just take one and just slap it on. I'm going to use this one as well. I like this. I have told you about it. I did uh, get rid of it with me, I think, or something, that I used this as well. This is from Beauty Act. And this is actually Mixolid, Mixologist <laughs> Drops, Foundation Drops, um, Bronzing Drops. But I used it as a cream bronzer. And it leans towards a little red and but kind of flattering red on me. You have to be really quick here. So it gets a little, you know, reddish, <laughs> but in a very flattering way. It really looks like I have been out in the sun or on vacation <laughs> that we all need right now, I believe. Oh, I just... I just want this to be over kind of like I don't know it's going to get better with the whole situation because I want to travel 
and I think a lot of people it's like me they just dreaming about go somewhere on vacation oh, because I live in Sweden and we are in winter and I mean it's it's not warm here <laughs> let's just put it like that and we really need to go to the like travel or something just to get away get a little bit of sun or not everybody maybe but definitely me and my husband <laughs> we are we need that to feel good you know because it's very dark and cold here a long time like uh, in autumn and winter even before spring i mean it's it's a long time can you see now what i mean i mean it looks so healthy and beautiful i love this but i'm also going to take some bronzer i have this one this is my holy grail right now this is or this has this has become my holy grail this is the essence sun club natural glow bronzing powder in warm tone really love this one and i'm going to take my flare brush i'm just gonna Put a little bit extra here so <laughs> we look even more bronzed because I really like that. I take a little bit here as well. I mean, it can't hurt, can it? I'm actually going so that I can take this one, what I have left, and just stamp it a little bit here, like that that can be good we have this blush i was really impressed with this i haven't i don't think i own a blush from uh the balm this is the down boy and when i look at it it just looks you know pink regular pink but this looks so good on the skin oh my god i am so impressed with this blush and i really love how it looks give this pinky like a pinky flush to your cheeks and I'm here for it. I have been using this so much, but the thing is I would never buy this <laughs> on my own. So I'm super happy I got it in this Try Beauty box. I mean, when you get it in a subscription box, you get it. And I mean, it can be real, really nice. Let's just take this one then. Uh, the thing about this, this is so good, but the packaging is super, what can I say? It's not a good packaging. It's very, very cheap and you can feel it's cheap because this lid is really hard to get open and closing. When you close it, you really have to put it in the right position, like the right position, and then you can screw it. If you get a little bit like on the side, it will not close. So, but this is how it looks. So you have I'm gonna put some out here. You have the highlighter here, and I'm just gonna take a little bit here, like swirl it around a little bit here, and then we're gonna apply it. And it's super beautiful. This is super blinding as well. I'm just gonna, oh my God, that is pretty. Let's take a little bit here. And then on the nose, keep it bow. I love to highlight. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely glowy and beautiful. I hope you can see this gold. Maybe it's a little bit dark for me, but I don't care <laughs> because I love it so much. I love a gold highlighter. So this is the thing. Now we're gonna take this. I mean, oh, it's just a very, very cheap packaging. If they have done it like a little bit better, this would be a super nice product like then the product and the <laughs> packaging would be like so good but now the product is great but the packaging is not <laughs> so so a little bit like hit and miss but I think the product is the main thing okay so this one then are we going to take this one now so this is the Essence glow to pro luminizing fixing spray and this is very glowy but the thing about this this has an uh, aggressive spritz so when i have uh, sprayed this and when i go to work when i come to work and look in the mirror i can see dots of this like shiny dots really big ones so i have to like try to get it because yeah, I don't know if I want to spray this. If you spray it, you may need to tap it a little bit after. So I'm not going to spray it in my face, I think. Maybe I can spray it like on my, 
my god, I'm gonna have it everywhere. Maybe I can do like this, and you can see like, maybe you can. It's a little bit glittery, is it? If I spray it on my... Spray it on my arm, I mean... Can we even see that? I don't think. The thing about this, I can't spray it in my face because it will be like dots all over. So I'm gonna skip that. I just wanna show you. I am going to take this one. This is so good. This is from L'Oreal. This is the Shake and Glow Spray Illuminizing or something. Yeah, spray. Anyway, this gives glow. This is a fixing spray and this has a really nice, fine, like super fine spritz. <laughs> So I really love that. So now we have two lippies, guys. As I said, we have a gloss. This gloss, everybody has been raving about this, that this is supposed to be a dupe for the gloss bombs or something, gloss, uh, the glosses from Fenty Beauty. I don't have those glosses. I'm super intrigued to try them, but they're quite expensive. But they, a lot of YouTubers has compared it with this one. And this is from L'Oreal, as I said. This is the Lifter Gloss. And I can say, this is so luxurious on your lips. I can't even explain it. Ah, oh, I am intrigued to try it right now, but I want this lip because this is so beautiful. This is also something I have used a lot uh, now since I got it. But this feels so good. I'm gonna use it in another video, but it is very nice big doe foot applicator. Maybe I can just show it here to you. I don't know. Glosses is really hard to show. Uh, it has some small, small glitters in it that sparkles, but not too much. And then it layers on your lips like a really nice, it's a really nice formula. I am super impressed with that. I really love this uh, gloss, but I am going to go with this one. So I got this in a in the Tri Beauty box. This is the Sula look, uh, that's the brand, and this is the Brandon, Branda, let me see here, Branda, Dylan, and Kelly, you know, Beverly Hills, <laughs> 90210. So this is a liquid lipstick. This is so good. This wears through the day, let me tell you that. Um, and it's such a beautiful color. I will try to do this now. Look at this beautiful shade. I mean, it's kind of a red orange and it's so easy to apply with this applicator and it's very smooth and soft and liquidy, but it dries down and it wears so good during the day. I have just loved this. This is not even, <laughs> I can see that now. Maybe you need an, uh, a lip liner, but in the morning when I go to work, I don't uh, use a lip liner, so. Maybe like this is better. But I hope you can see, I have uh, been loving this. <laughs> this is so good. But yeah, is this the finished look? Kind of, yeah, I think so. I think, I mean, let's do this. Let's, let's do like this. I have my earrings today, this <laughs> lipstick earrings. I think they are so cute. These are, these are from Shein. This is actually from Shein, this top here. I think it's very cute because it is like this. So it's very soft and loose here, and it's so comfortable. I think it's super, super pretty. But anyway, maybe I should do a clothing haul. I have bought a lot of clothes lately, not like uh, trousers or jeans, but tops. I have been into these puffy arms a lot lately, so maybe I, uh, you are interested to see that, maybe? <laughs> but maybe I will give you a little uh, close-up of this look. So this was it guys. This was me trying out these things for you guys. <laughs> and yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed this video. I upload Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays here on my channel. And yeah, give me some suggestions if you want to see something else on my channel. But yeah, I just think this is so much fun what I'm doing. I really enjoy it and I'm so happy you enjoyed it as well. And yeah, I hope I see you in my next one. Take care guys, bye.